I just cleaned myself up as you can see as you probably watched a minute ago I don't really care to do the whole fading and shit right now I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that with Ed later in the week so in the last video we just reached out and well we didn't reach out but we put it out there that we're looking for people to join mind Ed and I'm surprised we've actually had a lot of uh, we've actually had a good amount of people hit us up and I'm pretty fucking stoked about that because one of them is a woman and one of the pieces of feedback that I've received in the past is that well, it was from a woman, but she told me that she would like to hear from another woman. And honestly, I completely agree with that because I'm all about inclusivity, if that's even a word. I'm all, I'm all about being inclusive and not leaving anybody out. But I was kind of hoping a woman would hit me up or hit us up so they could join the team. And we could have a completely different perspective of the world from a woman. Because honestly, life treats everyone different, you know, especially society, which is something that I want to push past a lot, not just for myself, but for everyone who joins the team. I want it to be something where we don't succumb to society's rules. We don't succumb to society's expectations of what we're supposed to do. For example, something simple as a man wearing pink, it's still something that even my little nephews are like, pink is for girls. And I'm just like, it's just a color, you know? Especially with our culture, Latinos, from what I know, a lot of our parents kind of try to keep us safe by reducing our expectations of ourselves by telling us like, oh, you know, you're probably better off chasing something easier, doing something simpler, something more achievable. And to be honest, I think that's kind of unfair and I think that's kind of pathetic without hopefully insulting anybody, but it's true. I feel like we've been really limited thanks to our culture and our, the mindsets we've grown up with, but we're not, we're not gonna do that. This isn't what we're trying to put out there. So for everyone who has reached out and is willing to step forward and join the team, really thankful for you, really grateful that you're open to it and that you're willing to contribute to the team because it's honestly really important to us. We want to surround ourselves with people who bring different values and different skills to the table because if it was just Ed and I going forward, then we're limited to only our scope. We're limited to our experiences. And one of the things I really want to bring to the table is a mastermind, a group of people that all have different experiences, different, you know, stories to tell. Eventually I want to start doing short films that hopefully are inspired by stories that we've, or not stories, but experiences that myself and Eduardo and other people on the team have been a part of. And yeah, I'm really excited to start sharing all this stuff. I think I'm going to start doing little morning vlogs like this, just kind of a routine of what I do in the mornings. But yeah, I'm gonna give you all a little tour of the shop, which I don't think I've done before. Here's the tour. All right. That sign right there stopped working, so. The little merch booth. Jose's got the, Jose's got the merch on deck. He's got shirts, crew necks. He's got his ring light for his own videos. This is the man station, although I don't want to intrude too much, so I'll go ahead and leave that be. This is your boy Ed station. He also happens to be my best friend, so of course I got the man, his coffee, and his cinnamon twist. I try to make sure that I do things that make me irreplaceable. <laughs> And I guess bringing coffee for the homie every day is what does it. So here's my lay that I got for, actually that's not even my lay. That lay, I got it from Jason because 
I think we went to Hula's for Jason's birthday, which is a little Hawaiian restaurant close by. And he was like, oh, here, it's pink. You could have it. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I love pink. Speaking of pink, this is our Surat flag. And Jose had it custom made and he included some pink in it. And he said, that's for me. So thanks, Jose. The one people request the most often. That's right. All you fuckers always want the octopus. Well, you gonna get it. This is our new walk-in barbers station right here. Accompanied by a fancy little ATM. Oh, look who's here. Ya boy, Ed. Let's have a fucking battle royale. Good morning, motherfucker. This is how we wake up and greet you. My camera died, so I missed a good chunk of what I thought I was recording, but I'm about to cut my clients here because he's here early. This is why I stopped vlogging everything I do because the days at the shop are basically the same almost every day. You know, we take a lunch, we eat, we cut hair, obviously. Um, I try to be here early, like I mentioned in the last video and earlier in this video. All right, thank you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you. Take care. Good seeing you. All right, yeah, good seeing you. But either way, see you soon, bro. Every now and then things happen to change. Things just kind of go differently. So... I think I'm gonna just record most of this week and kind of try to get a different feel every day for how the week goes. And who knows, to me, it's not necessarily interesting because I'm used to this routine. But for you viewers, maybe you're kind of curious about what it's like to be a barber and what it's like behind, you know, behind the scenes because most people just know what the barbershop is like as a client. It's day two, day two of uh, my week in life or whatever this is, week in the life. I think that's pretty accurate. I have the hot towel station already going, but I haven't started doing the towels yet because the water is really hot. And if you're wondering why I don't just toss the water and fill it up again, it's because I put essential oils in it and I'm not gonna waste essential oils like that. So, But in the meantime, what I'll do is turn on the lights over here. And the barber pole. So now everything's lit behind me, the barber pole, everything. I'm waiting on Eduardo. He said he would be here soon. So I think he's going to be here pretty soon and we're going to go to New Leaf and fuel up. You know, Ed said he was going to be here in 10 minutes, but that was like 11 minutes ago. So I'm kind of pissed. No, I'm just kidding. Did the same thing as I did yesterday. Got the homie his coffee. This is how you lock him in. You lock him in by getting him coffee every morning. And they're not gonna get rid of you ever. Oh shit, oh shit, he's here, he's here, he's here. The choice is yours. <laughs> this will stick on fire. See, what did I tell you? What did you just say? Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> I was just telling them this is how you lock them in. <laughs> One of my favorite shop clients is here right now. Say what's up. What's up, man? That's Luis. Oh, and Toro's here. What's up, Toro? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty fucking stoked. I'm very lucky to have. Minded Media right now. Minded media, huh? Don't mind me, I'm just setting up my station. <clears throat> Debbie and her kids got me this gift. It's pretty fucking cool of them. Super, super sweet family, even Junior. We're done with day two. 
day two of my week in life. Um, today was actually a little bit different and I, I really wish I could have brought you all along for the little thing we got going on today, but it's a little bit of a top secret for now, but I'm really excited to share what happened today with the rest of you pretty soon. I feel like, I think, I think things are moving forward. I know things are moving forward. Things are always moving forward. Like that. What's up, dude? <clears throat> Later, dude. Ed's excited. I think that puppy's excited. We're excited. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be great. They don't know what's coming. It's, it's kind of manifesting what we envision in the start of this is coming to light. And we've only been six months, seven months into this journey. So imagine what's actually going to happen in a year. Not even a year, three or four years. It's game over. Yeah, it's definitely game over. But with that being said, I'm about to enter the dungeon that is the parking garage. So it's going to get real dark, real dark and twisty. I'll see you all tomorrow, which will be in a few seconds for you. now <clears throat> day three of a week in life i hadn't heard my voice at all today i think i might be getting sick hoping to hear some good news today we're gonna find out but today i'm gonna take you all to pete's with me because every morning i go and get ed and i some coffee and that fool's not here yet so i'm gonna go <laughs> yeah no not to, not the vanilla today today i'm gonna do an iced chai latte please. iced chai latte yeah right. do a small iced chai latte Guaranteed to work, and it's an eight plus, and the only one is six fifty. There's the whole thing. This might be too bright, but my hands are too full to do anything about it. So, I'll check this out. That's pretty sick. Little businesses around here are totally embracing the whole gender, queer, gender, neutral, uh, sexuality, being different stuff. Hi, little bird. Hi, little bird. Bye, little bird. One of the weirdest things about Santa Cruz is the way the weather just kind of goes from summer to winter with no in between, no warning. It was like 2000 degrees like three days ago for like three days straight. And all of a sudden it's fucking overcast, cloudy, raining, and I'm having to worry about my camera getting wet and it's kind of ridiculous. We are potentially renting an office space, but we're waiting to hear back. But so far things are looking good. If they don't fall through, then that's okay. I like being transparent anyway. I like to be able to talk about things that don't work out, things that don't pan out, don't pan out. but in general, this is looking pretty good and I'm pretty fucking stoked because if we have an office, that means we can finally start having guests on the show, on the podcast which is something we've been wanting to do for a while. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. But here's my brownie. I'm not expecting today to be anything crazy, so let's fast forward to day four. So unfortunately, it looks like I forgot to record most of day four my week in life day four so right after this nice little sequence of b-roll we're gonna jump into day five enjoy here with Shamrock aka your boy Ed aka Mr. Get It Done aka Mr. aka 
<laughs> Mr. AK47. <laughs> we just went to a wine place with porn books. Pretty cool shop. We recorded another episode of the podcast this morning, which is interesting, I guess, but nothing we haven't recorded before, so we left that out. We'll be making a promo for that as well. Tomorrow is Father's Day. I'm going to go spend some time with my family for Father's Day, so I'm going to hang out for a little bit with this father right here. Yes, they call me Daddy. <laughs> as that one Rage comic used to say, that was bad, and you should feel bad. I'm going to go get my eyebrows done. My eyebrows are a little bushy, and you go clean them up that time of the year again we can go to peach shout out to peach hooks it up all the time her name's actually natalie bro oh natalie but we call her peach let's go say hi to peach sorry, sorry. that was a ak-47 huh are you hi. open hi, this is natalie welcome to my salon peach parlor how's it going guys <laughs> this is natalie from peach parlor she's down the street from the barbershop at work and ed's about to get his eyebrows done if she has time yeah yeah come on in too? Um, I don't think so. I'm just here with him today. <laughs> moral support. Yeah, moral support. I thought about it. I was gonna ask you actually. Would you be able to do just the top? Yeah. 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 Um, middle and top or just the top? Yeah, yeah, middle and top. Yeah. Hi, sweet Bobby. Hi, sweet Bobby. Hi, sweet Bobby. Hi, sweet Bobby. My camera died earlier. Sorry that I wasn't able to get too much footage of Peach Parlor, but that place is pretty cool. Natalie's a super, super sweet person. If you ever in Santa Cruz and need a nice bikini wax, hit her up or just your eyebrows done. It doesn't have to be bikini wax, but I get both. Just kidding. <laughs> Who's the little Actually, seed? No, we're going the other way. Who's the little seed? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the little seed? We're going to Starbucks. Probably not the best way to end the day in the life. A week We're in the life. We're going to Coffeeville. We're going to Coffeeville, sorry. I meant to say that. We're going to Coffeeville. It is a local uh, Watsonvillian coffee place. But yes, we are going to Coffeeville. So I will meet you all there. We're here at Coffeeville. New coffee place that I haven't been to. I'll show you all inside. I said that I haven't been to, all right? How are we all doing today? Good, how are you? Fantastic. Don't forget anything. Let's go. Let's do it. Hi. Just, we have two donuts in here. Boulder Creek? Two donuts. And, uh, subscribe to this channel. Anything else? That's it. In case you missed my order, I got an iced almond milk latte, which is my usual at Pete's. I'm sorry, Pete's, for cheating on you. And I'm sorry to those I disappointed by having coffee twice today. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Thank you. That's mine. Well, that turned into about a 20 minute mission. Alexander is um, he's holding my coffee somewhere back there. And I'm holding on to my grandma's coffee for dear life. We're waiting to hear back from the office space. Hopefully they get back to us. Hopefully we get the space. If we do, the whole way we're producing content is gonna change completely and it's gonna be pretty sick. So with that being said, this is your favorite bad seed and your favorite bad seed sister. And your favorite bad seed sister's little kid. And as he said, please subscribe to this channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave some feedback. I don't get butthurt easily with a comment. I do. <laughs> so don't leave a comment about her. Leave a comment about the channel, what you want to see going forward. 
Show some love. Show some love. Huh, Alexander? Yeah, he agrees. Alright, I'll see you on the next one.